let me walk you through how to load and use the Mamiya RB67 back on the Goodman Zone camera. Let's load this ISO 400 film that is perfect for pinhole cameras. It's important to note that if you order a Goodman Zone kit, it only works with the RB67 Pro back, not with the Pro SD. You can find the Pro SD mod among our open source files in case you already have this back. When you open the film, you can see the unexposed sign. This marks the beginning of the roll. Let's remove the sticker seal. The black side is where the film is, under the protective black layer. The white side is made of paper and it has different printed markings. The pro back can be opened with your nails on the bottom right side. Inside there must be a spool. If you don't have it in there, you need to get one. You can remove the spool by pressing this little button here. Then we move it to the other side where the film advance lever is. You can check if you installed the spool correctly using the film advance lever. The inside of the pro back is removable. This is how you load the film. Takeoff spool works fine, so we can go ahead and load the film. You can do it by pressing this button here. You'll also find a drawing to make sure the roll is in the right position. When the roll is in place, you can start pulling on the film. The black side of the film needs to be facing you. If you see the white side, You've got a problem. Feed the leader into the slot in the takeoff spool. Let's check the direction of the film once more. Use your finger to keep the film in the spool. Advance the lever to roll the film on the spool. Advance it until the first arrows become visible. Here they are. Now you can place the inside part back. If you did it correctly, the back closes easily. Use this bolt to shut it. Through this little window here, you can see the frame number. It's not visible just yet, but let's advance the film until number one becomes visible. Unfortunately, it's not very visible here, but the number one will soon show up in the little window. You've reached the first frame, so now you can remove the dark slide from the back if there was one. I'm going to take a quick pinhole photo to see how the film can be advanced to the next frame. Let's count a 10 second exposition after opening the pinhole shutter. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Then I close the shutter. The first picture has been taken on the first frame, but the lever won't let me advance the film. The lever is blocked and it won't let you advance the film. The solution is this little switch here. Once you flip it, the film can be advanced. The film advance lever moves freely now and the counter moves to number two, even if it's not visible in the video. 
If you don't want to take any more pictures, you can replace the dark slide. This is only really needed if you want to change the lens or remove the grip though. Don't forget to flip the little switch every time you want to advance the film. Thanks for watching and have fun!